Hey, what's up, guys? This your boy LD. And you're tuning in to Likeable Dialogue. Shout out to LD the King. Shout out to LD the Dialogue. Come get your info. Cooking hot. I'll let your boy. So, um, Otis, man, so we're just going to start with you since we got uh, Lewis and uh, Mike kind of perspective. Um, man, so uh, who you going for in the fight first, man? Who you going for? Uh, hey. Becky Henson, you know, but uh, I will say that, you know, I, I don't live past proper. You know, I respect him as much as Earl do. You know, Earl do have team spent, you know, going in for the win, but it's not going to be an easy task. I guess that's what makes the fight so exciting and we so, you know, we're so anxious for, you know, today just too, but even just watching the brand arrival today, bro, it's like, yeah, you need to get here. Yeah, yeah. You know, because, yeah, see, that's what I was telling them. I mean, they, they didn't watch the grand arrivals, man. That's what I was saying. I was like, man, I was just hyped, bro. Like, it's just hype, man. Like, Saturday, yeah. I can't wait for Saturday, man. Yeah, so, man. I'm ready for it, like, so since you're going for um uh, for Spence, man, uh, tell me what does Spence have to do to in order to win this fight? In my opinion, Spence will have to be a little bit more cautious about how he tries to attack Crawford. You don't want to get no, in no, you know, in, in no boxing match with Crawford to, to per, per se. In my opinion, now I understand that's the sport, so he's gonna have to want to be some type of technical, you know, wizard in there. But with with Crawford, man, you gotta. You got to make Crawford respect. Like, he's going to have to make Crawford respect him for round one Yeah. as far as what he's able to do. Because if not, if you start letting uh, Crawford get comfortable in there, I think Crawford thinks he's going to be able to cruise to a victory by just pure boxing Earl and not getting hit. So Earl's going to have to do what he always do, which, you know, not necessarily just, you know, um, you know, have a jab. Because Earl don't really have no jab. I mean, Earl more of a body puncher. Yeah. You know, he get in there and dig with you. I think in this fight, he'll have to utilize that jab a lot more to create some type of distance on him and also break him down like he do all of his opponents. But he's going to have to have Crawford commit to that by trying to stay close because if not, I think Crawford, you know, that's where he becomes dangerous on boxing on the outside and being a little bit more technical than her. So yeah. Yeah. That's just the way I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Lewis, Mike, what, 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 what do y'all have to, what do y'all have to say about that? Hey, that's a good take, dog. He he, hundred percent right. Uh, if if he let if Finch let Crawford down on the outside, he's gonna try to cruise his way to a points victory without getting hit. And that might that might be his game plan once he takes uh, Finch power. Yeah. I think once he takes that power, he's gonna try to get on that outside. But I, I agree. With, I agree with you though. Oh, I say I say Finch got to get on him early from round yeah, one. Early. I don't think he's gonna let him. Come in there and start game planning. Am I switching lefty? Am I switching southpaw? Am I switching off to the He ain't gonna let him come in there and get no game plan. I think mm-hmm. he'll go in there and get on him early. If yeah, you think, yeah. if you think he, if you, do you predict the Spence knockout in this so what round? Mm. I'm not really oh. predicting knockout in this in this actual fight because, um, for one, you know, Earl hadn't really had a knockout here of recent. I mean, I know he's getting the TKO stoppages, you know, as far as you know, uh, with Uga's eye. You know, uh, things like that. Well, that's the eye catcher. Fight, I don't think he's going to come down. Yeah, he's an eye catcher, but I'm not, I don't think it's going to be, you know, properly, you know, his record is what it is for a reason. He, he don't really take no punishment like that either. You know, and he, yeah. and he is under the mentality. He really he, he's going to hit the bat. So if, if it was a knockout, if I just had to put it, like, if I just had to say, man, Earl got him in the round, if I was going to Vegas, they gave me $3,000 to put it on the round that I would bet. I would say way later in the round. I mean, in the fight, I would say like around nine or ten. Hey, I uh, said the eighth. I said the eighth. I said the eighth. I said the eighth. Yeah. Mike. They got to be down the line because he got to break them down. Yeah. I say round six. Man. I think round six. I think I think Crawford gonna be too small for the for the attack. If 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 Sin's going that attacking that body and, and training and going and faking faking downstairs, going upstairs, hitting him with some combos. And, and confusing them and putting the pressure on us from the crowd and everything. And I don't think Crawford gonna be able to last that long, man. He ain't never been in, in no jungle like this. But that, that that ring when he get in that ring on Saturday, that's gonna be a, a type of ring he ain't never been in before. He ain't never been a the, in a big time fight and he was an underdog. Yeah. In in a sense. Like he really gonna be he really like an underdog that he know he is. So it's yeah. like 
I don't know if he going is it gonna be Ryan Garcia. Oh, man. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know them like folded Ryan Garcia, dog. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, you, you, kind of go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry, let me cut y'all, bro. I, I was going to say, you know, like another thing that I always keep in mind, too, you know, when I, when, you know, when I talk about Earl, it's not just because he's from the hometown and, you know, I represent him. But being here, it's also the fact that he, the, the praise he gets from people like Floyd and they were, you know, yeah. those guys who say that, yeah. you, know, they, you know, so that means he's been had it yeah. from, you know, since then. And so fight, the level of fighters that he had to fight to get the belt, you know, you got to respect that. You can't really take that from him. So, yeah. you know, Crawford losing, that's my only reason why I see why he would lose because Earl is built for this type of life, like you said, Lou. But, you know, at the same time, man, you know, boxing is a, you know, one punch change, everything type of uh, sport. So, <laughs> you got to be careful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I um. Th- that's what we was just saying. Um, we was just saying that um um that uh uh Earl Spence gave uh Floyd Mayweather some good work. Uh, when yeah. they when they when they sparred. <laughs> At least that's what they were saying. Um. Okay. So um. So my my take on the fight, man. I feel like I feel like Spence is um. Is a hell of a body puncher. I feel like you know he goes from zero to one hundred, and I don't know if Crawford ever faced adversity as from he, from any of his previous opponents. You know what I'm saying? With uh, with the type of pressure that Spence is going to put on him. You know what I'm saying? David Avenesia gave him a little pressure, but he also wasn't swinging. You know what I mean? And so with Earl, this gonna be nonstop swinging at him, nonstop and. I just wonder if Terrence Crawford is prepared for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. But but yeah, Otis, this was this what this what we was this is what we were saying too, Otis. We never heard Terrence Crawford talk so much trash and be so much more confident. You know what I mean? And so he's like more confident. Yeah. He's more and he's got he got me questioning like, dang, is Earl really gonna win this fight? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going for Earl. I got the I got the home. I got the the shirts. The, you know what I'm saying? Smoke pack, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if if um this is man. When people were saying this is going to be a fifty fifty fight, I was like, man, these people are crazy. They don't know boxing. But now I'm not gonna lie yeah. to you. I'm one of them people. Like this can be a fifty fifty fight. And I wanted to go to like yeah. to the fight, but man, I want to be in my living room watching it with the commentary. You know, don't mm-hmm. don't don't talk to me. I might live stream that fight just because I know I can probably get some crazy views. You know, saying because people gonna be looking searching, but I don't know, oh, man. Yeah, this, I like this, the dog. Yeah, this live this stream that thing. Hey, this this gonna be a fight what, of the decade. Yeah, it what, is. What, what's going on, Otis? I was sitting back observing and digesting what y'all was saying. This is my boy Mike. He's uh, he, my man. this is my boy Mike. He's um he's a martial art guy. He's not um um okay. uh your everyday boxing fan. He's a casual boxing fan and he's learning and uh he's really hyped about the fight, the Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford fight. Cause see okay. this fight this fight resembles to me back when Roy Jones back when the young Floyd, all them back in that day, right? Yeah. So with me, I'm anticipating Earl uh, Spence to come out with something that we haven't seen. I ain't watch him too much, but he's been talking about that he's been preparing for this one fight mm. throughout his duration. Like, he waited for it when it was his time to choose to win the fight. So let's say with him, what I noticed in his past fights, he always dropped that backhand. Each time he starts to lag and get tired, he'll drop that backhand, that jaw be open on that backside. Yeah. Earl and do it, believe it, it himself open sometimes. He do. I yeah. do agree with you on that one, Mike. Like, I do agree with you on that one. Otis made a valid yeah. point that he ain't good with no jabs. And I noticed each time he did those jabs, that backhand would be lagging. Each time he led off with that front hand, that backhand be lagging. Yeah. Now, if, if I... His experience coach, he got way more experience than what I know. But him being with him for this long, he probably already realized it. So what Spence going to probably end up doing is start anticipating those angles. So if, if Crawford throwing that jab, 
he come off on the side, he already got a powerful body punch. He go for the soda plates, go for the liver, keep going for that. When he can't breathe, that's where it's going to be it. He going he gonna to already read that because he got the experience. He got the skill, but I'm more so looking at his experience. From what I've seen with Crawford, Crawford hasn't been at this caliber yet. Yeah. He mm-hmm. has. Yeah. So with Spence's experience, he's going to be able to adjust quicker than Crawford. Yeah. And I'm not discrediting yeah. his record at all. Neither one of their records. Because we were just talking about how much he thinks he's going to hydrate to. Yeah. So I'm looking at that. I'm not familiar with the hydration process. I believe but I'm will. looking at Spence. Ain't gonna get too heavy. Nah, I think he'll come in like ten more. Like I think he come in like one sixty. What you think, Otis? Nah, Lee? I don't think that heavy. What you think, Lou? Yeah, what you think, Louis? I, I think one fifty four, one fifty seven. I mean, he already yeah. want to move up to one fifty four anyway. Yeah. So, but I, see, I, why I would you come out that that way to show that he can he can hang at that weight? That's yeah. what I think will come out to a point. And he's going to try to get him out early, bro. I got a question. He, he really want to move up after this fight. Yeah, he do. So oh, this, yeah, he said he that. Do he, that, said now. that in a, he said that in the, um, my bad, uh, Mike, I don't mean to cut you off. He did. He, yeah, yeah, he, go he ahead. Did, he said that today in the um, grand arrival. You know, he said once he get this strap, this is last. He had already paid his dues to the 147, and he's moving up to the um, 154. He said that today in the grand arrival. Did you see that, Otis? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And so, 147 yeah. been hard to make for the past few fights, man. And he's yeah. been hydrating up that one. Well, like, 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 uh, you said, 160, 154. He be, he be, he hydrate up that now. So right now, like right now, both of them at 146.5. Hey, that, that, you, hydration different, bro. They, they can gain like 20 pounds overnight. Yeah, that wouldn't make, like that wouldn't make sense for him if he hasn't fought at that weight. Now, I, I'm he not a boxer. that weight. He 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 done competed at one fifty four, one fifty five. Yeah, every time he fight, he been he been mostly at one fifty four, one sixty. Like okay. he always hydrate up there. He don't never stay at around one forty seven. No, no, that no, weight no. that yeah. Him yeah, yeah. That's why they say he always yeah, come in big on fight made, night. He barely made the weight last fight. Yeah, yeah. That's but why he he's mm. who got fight. He yeah. was having trouble making weight. Nah, he nah I think, um, did, did he have trouble with, right? with with Ugas? But I think I think he had with previously. But I know he he always talked about like that's why he hired a dietitian. He used to run with the sauna suit because yeah, he wasn't he sweating. Ugas fight. He hired a new dietitian. Yeah, he hired. He yeah, but that, I think yeah he probably was doing it like previously. You know what I'm saying? But prior to the Ugas fight. Um, my question to you okay. guys. So, my question to you guys. Uh, when Terrence Crawford come in, he usually wear his trunks a little high. Right, he 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 does. Do you believe that he's gonna wear his trunks extra, just a little bit higher than he normally do because he's fighting Spence? That's my question to y'all. Do you think that Ter- Terence Crawford he usually wear his trunks high? If you ever watch the Terence Crawford fight, his trunks usually be high. Do you think he's gonna wear a little bit higher intentionally because the Spence is a normal body puncher? Uh, we'll start with we'll start with Otis, and then we will go to Lewis, and then Mike. You can chime in too. Man, to be honest with you, I you know I've noticed that about Terrence Crawford, but I don't. But like goes back to what you said, I don't ever think he he had a fight against some, somebody that's known to punish your body like that. Right. So that's a good question, man. I really that's a hell of a question. I don't even know the answer for it. Be honest with you. Okay. But that will be interesting how he wears his trunk. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Lewis. Yeah, I think I think that might be a, a strategic thing. He probably was a little bit higher than uh, normal. You probably hit a referee amount something in the beginning of the fight. Say, you know, this is this is kind of high, but we don't let him work right here. Because if he kind of went on the outside, then definitely taking points away for a low blows is probably something that they're looking looking for. So that could be something that's part of a, a longer term strategy, like working on the outside, trying to get him to lose some points. So I can see. I can see him wearing them a little bit higher. I can see him wearing them normal. Hey, it could go either way, but I could definitely see that being a uh, possibility. Okay. Go ahead, Mike. I have to look at that, but uh, just from what y'all are saying, you can't hide your solar plate. How are you going to wear You can't hide. You can't, you can't hide that. You can't hide that bottom rib. So how low you gonna how high you gonna wear? Nah, you gonna bro, have David so? I'm telling you, man. Now nah, it's like a little guard that they wear. I guess it's like a jock jock guard or whatnot that 
uh, like a waistband. Sometimes he wear it okay. high. He wears it hot. Then that's what I mean. Like, is he going to wear it in a so, little bit higher intentionally? Because if if you go back and watch the Sean Porter fight, uh, they was complaining uh-huh. about low blows with Earl Spence, and then the referee was saying, "Well, look at him. He got his trunks higher. He got his trunk. His his so, trunks." Okay. So you let know, let me ask you this question: How tall are you, Ladarius? I'm about five seven, five eight. How tall are you, Lewis? I'm five eight. I'm <laughs> right, How tall are you, Otis? I'm about six one. Okay, so between Ladarius and Lewis, right? Y'all say y'all about five seven, five eight, five nine. Between five five seven to five nine, these are the two heights of, of Crawford and Spence, right? Uh huh. Yeah, you can't you can't pull your your shorts up too high above to your chest. Hey, I'm that's, to tell you. that's what I'm looking at. I'll, I'm looking at this. Okay, so I'm just being real. Okay, I can see him pulling it up past his belly button. All right, that's a guard right there. But you realize Earl got experience too, and he know his target. If you look at him on the heavy bag, you got to anticipate them ribs ain't going. You can't hide them ribs, bro. I don't care how tall you are, how high. You pull your shorts up. All he got to do is get that bottle real, and that's right there already on his kidney or liver. Yeah. yeah. Crawford, yeah. No, Crawford, and then he get that chest. Go ahead, Louis. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say Crawford does have a good – he has some long arms, so when he's covering up his body, he's really going to have to work for his body. He's going to have to go around that guard. Yeah. He has those long arms, and those elbows really, really cover up a lot of his little thin frame. So he so, don't have to go around that. So he's so, gonna he's gonna probably end up with a liver shot if anything. Ooh. I don't think he's gonna better get to the sort of Johnny. If he turn his hand with his knuckles going long ways, that right there, that's a perfect hook punch to that solar plate. Oh yeah, yeah. And look, yeah. and look, and, 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 and remember, and remember, Mike, and remember, Mike is a martial arts guy, so he he can give you the yeah. details with the fight and turning your the, your knuckles in the head and all that because he's a martial arts guy. Um, question for you guys. Yeah. Question for you guys. Yeah. Which corner do you believe is going to give like the better instruction? So when I watched uh, Crawford last fight, uh, when he was down against Sean Porter, he looked to somebody in the crowd. I'm thinking uh, Shakur Stevenson or somebody, and they told him that he was down. And Bo Mack was trying to talk to him, and, and Terrence Crawford wasn't, like, paying him no attention. He was, like, looking off. And he was like, pay attention, bud, pay attention, bud. Do you hear me, bud? And, he, and then Terrence Crawford was looking at somebody, and they were saying, you down, you down, you down. Um Bro, I and, I ain't trying to cut you off, but I ain't even I ain't even finna argue with that. Spence coach is on on point. Yeah, I know, I, and, yeah. And, and 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 this is what I was about to say versus Derek James when he was telling Frank Martin, "Hey, you need to you need to you need to step it up." Like like what you doing? Stop running backwards. Don't do it no more. What you doing it for? You know what I mean? That's what he was telling Frank Martin when Frank Martin fought last week. So who do you, uh, so, so Mike says Derek James, uh, Otis Lewis. Uh, which uh, corner do you believe is going to give uh, the better instructions? Yeah, Derrick James. I don't think Terrence Crawford corner don't know what what instructions to give. Yeah, I don't. Lost too, bro. They got a relationship <laughs> like, like Mike Tyson and Cuz. They do a lot of talking themselves too. The corner, yeah, the yeah. The corner doing a lot of talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I, I, I oh what about they you? Trying, they're trying to sell a fight or they're trying to sell their confidence. I don't know which one it is. Yeah. I don't <laughs> think it's working out for them. I know Bowman is a good trainer, but I just know that, you know, with Earl and Derek, man, he's he, he been watching, you know, them when they, like, when he's practicing, man, or not practicing, but when he's at uh, training, it's like it's already understood, you know? Yeah. And, so, you and know, not just that. Derek and, Derek and his other fighters, besides Spence, he, he's yeah. a yeah. former well, trainer. Yeah, yeah. Too. Yeah, and twenty 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 one, either twenty twenty one, twenty twenty two. It was somewhere around that he got that award. No, he but just, just got the if award you look at, he got the award this year. The best oh, this year, year? Yeah, yeah, he got it. Oh, okay, man, just right. looking at him so, talking, he already. Hey, man, drop a bomb for my dog, man, Derrick James, man, drop a <laughs> cool little thing for him, man. Hey, yeah. 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 Bro, he he re he relapsing. What Cuss and Mike Tyson did, like Cuss was a somewhat father figure to Mike Tyson by being able to, he was like seventy five percent of it was mental. With 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 what's his name, Derek? Yeah, Derek James, DJ Derek James. Derek and Earl, you got to realize that Earl been with him from day one, 
So his understanding of how he fight and that mm-hmm. mental aspect, he already know what he's going to tell him and he's going to entrust in him to give him the right guidance. Yeah. He's already deal with the experience. He got experience from the ring himself. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, that's a different feel. Like I ain't, I haven't looked at all of Crawford stuff, but I haven't seen where they talked about Crawford coach. Yeah. But yeah. Crawford and his coach have been together since day one, too, though. Yeah, yeah, they've been together for day back one. Yeah. Day one. I was well. trying to find so somebody. He, he, I was, he, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Go I ahead, Lewis. I don't think he has the knowledge, the boxing, boxing expertise to coach Crawford up to do for this level. Like this. Yeah. yeah I, think, I, think, I think it's kind of like Greg Popovich is going against Derek Fisher is a head coach. I, don't, I just don't think this is the same. They ain't in the same bracket, bro. Right. No. And I feel like the Derek same is league, not the same bracket. Right. And I feel like Derek incorporated more life experience into the fight to where he make him think more critical. Because he, he know he's been ready for this fight. So him, as a fighter, he probably geeked up and high. He like, yeah, I'm ready to I'm ready to get in there, right? But also he gotta be able to go in there at a calm mindset to examine it. He gotta use yeah. his experience, not just, oh, I'm finna tear him up. Nah, he he really finna put some smoke to Crawford. Yeah. Cause he gonna analyze him through that experience. And then Crawford, he, he got a one seventy three reach. Spence got a one seventy seven reach. Oh, so Spence, so Spence got so Spence got the longer reach? Yeah, Spence five nine and a half, Crawford five seven. Oh, okay. I just okay. I just oh, looked that up. Oh, I told y'all it's gonna be too big for this boy, dog. It's gonna be too big. Say, hey, bro, that just lit. Hey, when bro, when you said that, when that just Crawford power. He just gonna walk through his shit, bro. Yeah, bro. That's, that's like they he gonna doing the Pacquiao dog. He gonna cut off his. He gonna cut off his power. He Dang. gonna cut his power off. And once he cut that power off, he's showing up that arm and get to that body. That's how he's going to get into that body, too. Yeah. Man, yeah, I can't wait. He's going to in intentionally. Man, I can't wait. <laughs> so, Lewis, like you said, Otis, you said this probably he, he protects his body. Y'all said he protects his body, right? Who? Who? Yeah, Crawford? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Crawford. It's uh, so, look at it like Crawford. this. If Crawford's jab is, is supposedly his damaging, or or his most anticipated move starting off. Yeah. If he short, if if Spence come in as he timed that jab, that's gonna leave his body open. If Spence is gonna double hit him. It's your boy LD, and you tuning into Likeable Dialogue. Press that subscribe button and stay tuned for more on Likeable Dialogue.